Yes. Hi, Mommy. How are you? All right, so we made you a really yummy care package. I'm very excited about it. It's full of lots of minerals and healthiness. So you're going to receive this package. Mika will be there with you. And the first thing you will put, well, okay, I don't know how I'm going to, the order, I'll put them back in. But this little flat thing here is, can either be used as a, a flatbed, a pizza crust, or a cracker for some of the things that are coming next. Uh, it has it is grain free and wheat free. It's garbanzo flour and sesame seeds and flax. This little package probably won't look like this later because it's partially frozen. It is vegetable soup um, that's made with lots of yummy vegetables, fresh, organic, and um, and bone broth. This says cheesecake. This is Mika's favorite thing. This is high in protein. It's got natural sugars, so it won't spike your blood sugar. Uh, it's got lots of B vitamin and protein in it. Goat cheese, yum. All right, this is my famous kabucha, as is this, my favorite kabucha. It's a cranberry kabucha. Sugar-free, uh, all natural sweeteners. Here's a lot of goat cheese uh, with cranberries and cinnamon around it. You can use this on this if you like. This is my mushroom sauce. Mika really likes this too. This is three different kinds of mushrooms and I use um, coconut cream instead of dairy. So it's got no dairy in it. Uh, it's got all kinds of spices and numminess and flavor. Uh, if you eat it cold, it's like a dip. If you warm it up, it's like it gets saucy. This is just pure chicken bone broth. It's frozen now. It's a nice big log. It says chicken bone broth right on it. Um, it's my yumminess that you love. Does not have any vegetables or anything in it, so you can do whatever you want with that. This is my famous hummus. I didn't write anything on it because I think it's obvious and it'll probably be gone before Mika leaves because he loves it. So this can also be used with your flatbread, if you like. Then we've got, oh, my famous tomato sauce. Now, the tomato sauce can be done a couple things. You can put a spoonful on here with some cheese and some veggies and stick it in your oven and make a pizza out of it. Or, wait for it, wait for it. These, are noodles made from squash. So, what I've got in here already for you is um, it's got a really lovely oil that's good brain food. It's got um, vitamin B in the, in, um, it's got salt, pepper, garlic, onion, and Nutritional yeast, yay! And this special oil that is brain octane oil that will help you um, digest carbs faster. Yum, yum, yum. All right, so this goes into the bag. And then what else do I have for you? Seems like, is that everything? I think that's everything. Um, oh, 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 no. Then the other thing you can do, you can, with this, put a little bit of this into a bowl, uh, put some mushroom sauce on top, stick it in the microwave, and eat it. It's yummy. Or you can put a little bit of this in a bowl, put some tomato sauce on top, eat it. Yummy. Um, yes, that's what you do with this. Which containers do you need back and when? 
Um, you can have all these containers. If you can use them, you can have them. If you can't use them, then um, get them back to me whenever I see you. Um, that's, oh, one more thing. This, Nusa yogurt, it's insanely expensive, but it's the most delicious thing you've ever tasted. It's like $3, $2.90 or something for this container, but it is unbelievable. Oh, that's the other thing. There is lots of probiotics here. I'm big on the probiotics. So, probiotics here, probiotics in the kombucha, probiotics, there was something else with the probiotics. Oh, lots of probiotics and prebiotics in the um, hummus. hummus. Uh, oh, and the cheesecake. Probiotics, prebiotics. Okay. Let's visit with pushy chickens. Oh, come and see the babies. They're so cute. Come on. Okay. So first of all, you see they're at the door and they're screaming at me to come in. See them? They're saying, come in. So I open the door and they run away for a second and they come right back. And we're gonna go give them something yummy. It's leftover cat food and they love this. And we always have to put shoes on when we walk outside because there is bird crap everywhere. That's Goldie. Hey Goldie, come on baby, I got some food for you. Goldila, come on Baba. She's screaming her little head off. Goldie, would you like some treats? Come on, I got something for you. Come on, little ones. Let's go over here under the tree. Come on. Come on, come on. Now, Cleo will not let any other chickens eat this deliciousness. As far as she's concerned, it is only for her babies. So we need to go get some other deliciousness for Goldie and the other ones. Goldie's the only one that's not completely afraid of her. The rest of them, watch what they'll do. See, she'll take some and then she'll run away because she's afraid. Because that little white Cleo's mother will kick anybody's ass that tries to eat her baby's protein. Just like you did, mommy. Okay. Show us the peach tree. Oh, and then here's the peach tree. Oh, that was the other thing. I'm bringing, I'm sending you peaches. So here's what we do with the peach tree. I climb up on this little stool over here. And I feel around to find some that are on the softer side, meaning because they're so much better when they're actually ripened on the tree instead of uh, taking them off and ripen ripening them in the refrigerator on the counter. So I'm picking some for you. Oh, that's a good one. Um, lots of them. I'm gonna give you one that the chickens have eaten. I mean, that the birds have eaten because it's cute. Um, just cut that little bit off, but it's really fresh and ripe. You know the freshest, ripest ones because those are the ones the birds get. Isn't that how the worms get in? No worms in my yard. The chickens eat all the bugs. Mm. So they're my, they, the chickens are my organic um, bug killers. Ooh, that's what you need under your bed. Instead of that nasty diatomaceous earth, you need a chicken. That'll eat any bugs. Okay, do you think four is enough mm. peaches? Are you gonna want one too? Should I pick one for you too? Sure. Um, good one. Okay. All right, and then this over here is the grapefruit tree. But if you can zoom in here, you'll see they're very, very tiny. Very tiny. So they're not ready. Um, and Goldie is still screaming at me. So I need to get Goldie some protein because it's not fair to her that that darn Cleo won't let. Come on, girls. Come on, let's get you some over here. Come on, Goldie. I got something for you. 
Oh, and then this is Blanche. She's afraid of everybody and everything. She's a chicken. Uh -huh. We realize. Oh, Daisy. Um, now we're gonna get some worms out. Come on, come on. There you go. Yes, that mean old Cleo won't let you have anything. But she's all about being a mom. Oh, here she comes. You better eat it quick before she gets here. <laughs> they all, you see the babies come running? And the rest of them were like, darn. How are we ever going to get any protein around here? I'm getting you some more. I'm sorry, Goldie. All right, let's wrap it up. All right. Bye, Mommy.